Hello, so I want to do a quick how-to for adjusting valves on Kawasaki V-Twins without using a feeler gauge. So I adjusted them for the first time uh, today and it's a real pain in the butt to use a feeler gauge. So use a method I learned from some other quads. Um, uh, so you also don't need to look at the timing inspection cover. You have to pull the clutch cover and then uh, obviously your valve adjustment covers and also your spark plugs make it a lot easier to turn over so it won't over center on you either and all you want to do is just turn your primary clutch until the intake valve so under this cover and this cover would detent whenever they start a release what i do is i stick a long quarter inch extension actually in the spark plug hole very carefully you don't want to jam it in there and then slowly spin the primary clutch yet and when the piston touches the extension you'll be able to see it move up and then when it finally stops you know that's top dead center of your compression stroke and that's exactly where you want to adjust valves so for each cylinder you'll do that method and then uh, what I'm going to show you here this is kind of a rough little diagram of a bolt here you can kind of see there's a little line on there and that indicates the flathead uh, screw on the tappet I actually have a cover off here so you can see. So that's flathead screw and then the jam nut. So what you want to do is line up or loosen your jam nut and then take your screwdriver and tighten it till it's just snug. Then after it's snug, you can line up the flats or the tips on the nut until they're in line with your screw. And then, it's going to be hard to do with one hand, you want to loosen the uh, tappet a quarter or a sixth of a turn for your intake and roughly a quarter turn for your exhaust. And then just tighten your jam nut down. Now with that, did some horrible math here. So you're roughly 0.75 millimeters per revolution. That is the pitch of those bolts. So with the sixth of a turn for your intakes, you're at 0.125 mil, which is right in the spec of 10 to 15. And with a quarter turn, you're a little bit low at 0.1875. And if you're a little better with English, 30 thousandths per revolution about, these are rounded a hair. And five thousandths for a six of turn, and about seventy four for uh, a quarter turn. Excuse me, point seven point seven. So that puts you right in the smack dab in the middle of your intake, and your exhaust will just be a hair tight. So you can go just a, a scotch over a quarter turn. So hope that helps you out. Uh, if you're in the field, ever have to adjust valves, or just in your garage, trying to cram a feeler gauge in there is not fun at all. Just tighten her back up, put her all back together, and you should be good to go. Enjoy.